Hey there. So have you ever caught yourself saying this child cannot pay attention to anything or they cannot finish anything? Well, that right there is attention. We're going to talk a little bit about attention as it relates to executive functioning skills. So we're going to break that down into two parts. The first part is task initiation. The second part is sustained attention. I can't talk about one without talking about the other. So here we go. So first thing they need is they need a part of attention to go ahead and help them get ready to start an activity. But that's not enough, folks. <laughs> I know, uh, it's not enough. The next part they need is that sustained attention. So not only getting them to start the activity, but go ahead and sustain attention long enough to complete the activity. And I see this so many times in the classroom where the child will start, they'll write their name, they'll answer the first question, and then they're off someplace else. And the work doesn't get finished, and the work doesn't get turned in, and it gets incompleted, and they have to stay back from recess to do it, or the work gets sent home. I also see it when they have to go do, you know, certain things at home, you know, certain life skills at home. They need to, you know, take a shower. So they'll get started, they'll turn on the shower and they leave the water running and they were off doing something else. Sustained attention, right? They were able to initiate the task, but they weren't able to finish it. Another example of not being able to even start the task is we need to clean our room, right? That's a big, a big thing us parents want. And they make it, to the room and they start reading a book. So they were kind of close, but they didn't initiate the task. I see the same vice versa in classrooms where the teacher explains, she goes into detail, she does a beautiful job as explaining how to do it, how to start it. And our friends get there and they get the paper in front of them and they got nothing. They are, their imagination is off somewhere else. They're thinking about something else and they do not even get started on the task. So next time you catch your child not being able to complete something or getting stuck in something, sit back, pause, and try and see is this him, not, them not being able to start an activity or were they able to start the activity but they weren't able to complete it? And then use the executive functioning perspective to see how you can help them. So I am Nicole Santa Maria, pediatric occupational therapist. Um, once you're done with the video and you spot a couple of things that happen at home, uh, feel free and give me some feedback. Um, I'd love to see how this perspective shift was able to help you help your child.